I got a chance to talk to nurse Tammy as she goes by on social media. She's a hospice nurse now, used to be an emergency room nurse, and she's really passionate about trying to protect herself, others in her profession, and the people that they are trying to help. So she is setting up donation sites. She says Hazel Park Fire Department is one of the donation locations that she has made an agreement with. So if you have boxes of masks or any other personal protection equipment, gloves, you can drop it off here or one of the other sites. She wants you to think outside of the box as well. She says manufacturing companies, painting, painters, construction companies, oftentimes they have boxes or cases of things like masks, gloves, even maybe plastic aprons in a box in a storage unit somewhere. So she says think outside of the box and if you have something that you're able to drop off and donate, she wants to try to get it into the hands of people who need it. And when she's talking about serving the senior citizens, the elderly population, people who have very serious medical needs where they need hospice care, she says it makes her think of the Detroit police officers where we've got multiple officers who've come down with the virus now over a hundred in quarantine, she worries that that could happen in the hospitals, in the emergency rooms, or among those working in hospice care. And she says it could be even worse than that. And we're dealing with patients who are extremely vulnerable, um, immunocompromised, with comorbidities. So taking a virus to them is not an option for us. We go in and we become ill. We are now vectors and we can share that with everybody. We do not want to be vectors. She wants it to make it as easy as possible to donate. So the Hazel Park Fire Department, that's one of the donation sites that she's arranged. She says Mount Morris Fire, North Oakland, Gibraltar Fire Departments, they've all agreed to be donation drop off sites. We're going to put her contact information on our website. So if you want to donate directly to her or if you'd like to be a drop off site, then you can contact her directly. That'll be on our website at WXYZ.com. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.